Welcome to my unboxing. Okay, my fetch new fetch mini just uh, arrived um, today via Australia Post. Um, this is kind of an unusual situation. Um, the um, Telstra is giving me a uh, a fetch a fetch um, mini as a replacement for my uh, Telstra TV, which I understand is going to be decommissioned uh, later in. Um, 2024 but maybe you should go and look, have a look on the Telstra website to confirm that um, I received a message via my 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 Telstra app on my mobile phone saying that I was eligible for a free replacement so um, I'm not going to turn down a freebie so this is what it's actually replacing is this 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 box here which I've had for quite quite some time uh, try to get that around the right way. Uh, this is, um, you might recognise this as, as a Roku box. I hope I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, I've used this one for for um, many years. So that there, just pretty, 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 pretty typical little um, set-top box there. Everything that you'd um, normally expect from a, a set-top box. So that one's being decommissioned. So um, as soon as I get my uh, fetch fetch running, I'll um, I'll take the um, Telstra, I'll take this little box down to the um, my local recycling station, other than letting it be landfill. So I'll I'll do that. So this is the uh, this is the uh, the new the new machine. Uh, just hope that comes in okay. Yeah, what's inside? Um, a Fetch Mini 4K, um, Bluetooth remote control, HDMI cable, and a startup guide. Okay, that's all. That's all pretty, um, pretty standard there. Uh, I might have to blur out that um, <laughs> that that that, um, that thing there. Somebody could use that. I'll just blur it out. Uh, okay, so anything really? Yeah, I shouldn't show any barcodes if I can help it. Uh, that's just the back there. That's just. Um, just the various services and things available to the uh, fetch. Uh, that's all pretty standard. Okay, I just opened the box. Okay, it's just a, um, a quick start guide there. Uh, there's the unit there. Just pull that out. Okay, so what have we got here? All right. Okay, yeah, it's just a nice little little neat box. It'll 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 lie flat on your um your your your, your television stand or or whatever if you, if you got one. That's pretty good. A uh, couple of indicator lights there. I guess the dog the dog's paw is um fitting in with the fetch. I guess that's what that means. Okay, in the back. Uh, we've got a pretty, uh, oh, we've got an optical connector. All right, that's interesting. Uh, got a, a, um, antenna connection there for, um, terrestrial signals. Uh, we've got a pretty standard looking, um, HDMI connector. Um, and we've got a, a internet, um, ethernet connector. And we've got a, um, a power connector. All right, 12 volts DC. All right. Okay, they haven't. Um, uh, you know, it's not not really criticism, but um, going forward, a lot of a lot of things are going to start to use the USB-C um, power supply standard. Um, but you know, this box was probably made well well before that um, standard was um, ratified by the Europeans. Uh, yeah, because uh, obviously it means there's another power supply in the box somewhere. Right, I might have to blur the, um, blur, blur the, oh, oh, it probably doesn't matter too much. Uh, if anyone's smart enough to go and read the barcode off a video, well, good on them. Okay. Uh, no, nothing too, nothing too exciting there. I'll just get the rest of the uh, things out of the box. My phone is getting very hot. Alrighty, what else have we got? Okay, we've got a um, 
just a, a pretty uh, standard uh, remote control here. Uh, it's got it's not it's got big buttons, which is uh, which is good. Sometimes the buttons on the um, the remotes can be very small, so that looks pretty standard. Uh, they've provided a couple of batteries, uh, so that's nice. Uh, they're uh, tri 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 triple A's, triple A's there. Uh, we've got uh, a, a HD, another HDMI cable. Uh, yep, that's good. That's all provided. Um, that you know that that'll fit into most TVs. And we've got a uh, it looks like a 12 volt power supply here. Uh, just I don't know if you can read that. Probably probably is a 12 volt. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty standard. That's right. I think it said uh, 12, 12 volts. Yeah, that's right. 12 volts DC DC on the box. Okay, that's all um, that's all pretty good. Just to switch off my phone. It's getting very hot. Okay, something I was also comment on is the 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 packaging, cardboard. Cardboard, 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 cardboard. Excellent. Well done. No, no, no plastics. All um, completely recyclable um, packaging. Maybe only a minor point, but you know, um, every little little bit helps. Um, there's no there's no need to um, contribute um, needlessly to the to the, the plastics problem if you can avoid it. Uh, cardboard is all um, completely recyclable and completely um, biodegradable, so that's the sort of thing that I'm looking looking for. Well, I should say that's the sort of thing I um, I like to see. Okay, it all looks pretty good. So uh, thanks to Telstra for giving me a, um, a free re replacement. I appreciated it. Um, I sort of knew it was coming. Um, this, this is the rant, rant, time, rant section of my video. Uh, I tend to make my videos like they're live streams, you see, but I do edit them because of the sound and stuff. Um, if people can understand the sound, uh, please let me know politely in the comments. There are things I can do about it and... Um, uh, some people may um, may have problems with my accent and pronunciation, but that's okay. Anyway, the um, the the the, um, the sub the, the automatic subtitling on uh, YouTube these days is very very good, so there's usually usually not that much of an issue. So um, yeah, so w what it, what happened was, um, as I understand it, was uh, uh, Telstra bought into um, the Fetch Fetch uh, Fetch company. Uh, for various reasons, they um, Telstra didn't want to offer its um, Telstra TV anymore. So it's, um, I think it's gonna, it's just gonna leverage off um, Fetch's um, expertise and all that. You know, um, you can go and there's a number of articles about it in the media. I think um, 2002 um, about the um, the the you know the business decision to do that, and that, that's that that's all fine. Um, I was expecting an email to tell me that I had a replacement, an email from Telstra, but I never received one. Um, I, I, I was going to ask, I was going to ask them eventually if, if I was going to get one or not. But what, what happened was I got a new phone and um, when I reactivated um, the My Telstra app, I pos popped a message saying, Click on this, and uh, we'll deliver you a new fetch fetch mini for you. And I thought, oh great, is that all it took? And I just pushed the button, and um, it ordered it for me, and I got it the next day. So that was um, pretty good. I think what had happened was on my original phone, um, I had um, I had my my Telstra, but I ha I had um, switched it off for some some reason, or I, I hadn't selected it in a long time. So I'm. I'm deducing from that that they're not—they're not sending out emails. They're actually sending out messages um, via um, via the uh, My Telstra app. But I do—I do question that. Some people may not use the My Telstra app, so perhaps um, 
perhaps an e e email would be um, would be nice for some people. Uh, my opinion only, of course. Um, the other the question these days is, um, who uses set top boxes anymore <laughs> with with, um, with smart TVs and that? Well, why not just have a have an app on, um, a, say, a fetch app on the um, smart TV, which which might actually be available. I don't know. I haven't even checked. Well, I guess I guess um, like all, all things, um, it's 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 com it's complicated. Uh, you know, the, the smart TV may not offer fetch for whatever reason. Some sometimes they they're a competitor that they don't want to offer them stuff like that. So you still got as as so um, so fetch is still um, they um, still got this um, set top box. Um, even though I'll, um, what what I do use these things for is is a um, if I don't use any of the um, the services that are particular to to, to fetch, um, I probably won't. I probably won't get any subs any more subscriptions. Um, that's entirely your choice. Um, I do I do have other other subscriptions. I won't I won't mention who they are. But I'll still use the set top box. I'll set it up and activate it and um, just use it because I've discovered in the past especially with this this guy um, my old um, smart TV um, which I won't mention the, the, the brand name of applications either just dis started disappearing off the TV or they just stopped working because I think the um, the company was no longer updating the software on the um, that 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 year's model of um, smart TV that I was using, so I, I started I started using the Telstra TV more and more as a backup. There's still some of my apps that I still like to use were available on Telstra TV, even though they weren't weren't um, available on my smart TV anymore. So um, that's 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 a reason for um, hanging on to your set top box. You may find that it's it's it, it's a it's a backup if the um, if after a few years the um, the smart TV company um, doesn't keep the software um, up to date, or the other the other big drama that was happening was they um, they're starting to lose licenses to some of the um, some of the um, uh, what it, what do you call them the um, the codecs and uh, stuff and compression compression algorithms and stuff like that. Uh, it's all very complicated. You'll have to look that one up. So um, not too bad. Uh, depend, depending on how this, uh, how well this um, video does, I might do a um, um, a follow-up video, like a a, 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 um, a setup video. And any questions, um, go ahead and ask them. I'm reasonably technically savvy sort of person, but um, just keep in mind I'm not Telstra, so um, uh, I can't. I can't read the mind of Telstra, so Telstra questions are probably best uh, directed to um, to Telstra. They're they're pretty they're pretty good. They they um, uh, you get hold of their support and they're they're they're, they're quite they're quite helpful. So I'll give I'll give they gave me a free box, so um, I'll give them a free plug for that. Okay, so um, catch you in the next video.